Hi guys, Nancy here from Lumbicious. Welcome to part 2 of the Dalmatian puppy. I totally forgot uh, to mention um, the shout out, the person that re requested this puppy. So, um, uh, thank you ML Catsback uh, for requesting this uh, cute puppy we're going to put together right now. I hope you uh, will make at least one of them and post a picture on Instagram. So uh, thank you very much and I hope you enjoy uh, both parts uh, of this tutorial and have fun. So thank you ML Catsback. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and have fun with this tutorial. And let's start with one half of the body. Make sure your loom is set in this position. And uh, again, uh, you can uh, ex follow my pattern exactly or create your own pattern and use more black. I only use a few black spots, but you can add more if you like. Uh, we will use two bands at a time. So um, follow me. I have all my hooks here. Let me get them out of the way. So two bands at a time and I will start with white and just follow me. We have to go down the whole row or to the right. Huh. It's not down. Two bands at a time guys. I won't add black spots on the top row uh, because we will stitch it together there. I don't. I want it to be white on the back. So, but you can add spots if you like. But I do suggest only add spots on the top row on one side of the body, not on both. But you you can do that, of course. But it's up to you guys. Um, let me check. Now we'll grab some black bands and go diagonally down. So this will be a black spot. I do have to check. I guess now I will do uh, black, white, black, white to create some spots. I don't know how this will look. But we will see a uh, black. <laughs> might look weird but it can also look cute two bands at a time and black once more now two white again now i do have to count one two three one two three go diagonally down here And I won't be adding black spots on the bottom row either. But you can obviously do this if you like. But you don't have to. This will be one half of the body. Now we will place the horizontal bands. So grab two at a time again. And stretch them across all the pegs. Now grab single single bands and wrap them around twice. So double loop them. These are double looped singles. I need to place three of them like this. Push down on the top row at least. We will add some loose bands later. Grab one of your back legs. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's the head. It doesn't matter which one. Just pick one. I have two totally different back legs. I will pick this one, I guess. Doesn't matter. You can pick any of the legs, but have it like this. Here's the thicker part of the tie. 
and the paw has to face to the right. This will be where the head is, and this will be the tail. So stick your hook through in the set in the center. We have to attach it around these three pegs, these three loose ends. So I will start with the set in the center, paw is facing to the right. I will attach it here. All loops around that peg. And obviously you have to attach the other two sets on the pegs next to the one we just attached the leg to. So wrap it around there. Like this. Now grab one of your front legs. I will swap it around or sh shall I do black paws on both sides or no, I'll mix it up. So I will grab the one with the white paw right now, same position. This is a bit thicker and the paw is facing to the right, to your right. I'll stick your hook through one of the sets. We will have to attach it around this and this peg. Make sure the paw is facing to the right, to the head actually. I wanted to record this video and this morning we had a huge um, power outbreak here in my country. So many people didn't have um, power. But it's fine now, so I can record. Um, grab your head. I will turn my loom for this. Stick your hook through the set in the center. And don't remove this tying bend. This tying bend is important. We will need this same set again to attach. So leave that tying bend there. This has to be right side up. Stick your hook inside the left set and attach it around this bag. And you can remove that tying band. We won't need that one again. So it should look like this right now. <clears throat> now we're going to play some loose bands. I will use white bands and use two loose bands at a time and lay them on the pegs on the top row. You will loom over them, so pretend they aren't there. You will use these loose bands to stitch the dog together. Two there. And two more. And that's it, and now we can loom, guys. So I will turn my loom again so I can loom. I'm going to do the row on the right first. Simply grab the bottom two bands. Oh. Huh. If they fall off, replace them. I wanted to get rid of the tying band, but yeah, I moved it to the side a tiny bit. Continue looming the top row. Only grab the bottom two bands each each time and loom them across. Don't loom everything. I'm not even checking if I'm on screen, but stop here. Don't continue after this one. Just leave these bands for now. Now go inside this pack, only grab the top two first and loom diagonally. We're going to do the bottom row first now. So just lift up that le leg a tiny bit, but make sure it doesn't come off. Because it can fall apart since we removed the tying bands. Uh, let me check, yeah. Loom diagonally. 
stop there. So stop here and now we can continue here. Go behind all those legs ben leg bends and only grab the bottom two. And continue looming. This might be a bit tricky, but go behind all those bends, only grab the bottom two. It is a bit tricky. Make sure you grab the correct bends. And again, only the bottom two. Then loom these two bends diagonally. And then we can continue on this row. And the final set. Grab a tying band of a different color. Make a slip knot and carefully remove one half of your Dalmatian puppy from the loom. Like this, pull outwards all those loose bands. Make sure you have all of them so you don't get confused later on. And this will be one half of your puppy. And now we need to create a second half. It will be very tiny again, not that big. Let us create the second part. So follow me again, two bands at a time. But we're going to start here now, at the bottom. Again, I will only use white to finish this row, bottom row this time. And not add a black spot on this row. Simply fill your entire loom with two bands at a time until you reach the end of your loom. Mm, yeah. Go diagonally down with two or up with two bands. Now I will add a black spot here. Uh, no, I will do this black, white, black, white again. But it's offset. It's a different pattern than we just did with the other half. So this one will not be symmetrical, but if you want to, you will have to check how I uh, put on the first half and do it exactly the same, but mirrored. Let me check, where am I? Um, Black again, and white. Now grab two white again, or black, depends on what you like. Go diagonally up. And I will only use white again here at the bottom. And two 
going up diagonally. Now we're going to place the horizontal bands again, so two bands at a time, simply stretch them across all the pegs. This is a single band, needs to be double looped, so wrap it around those two pegs twice. if possible. Like this. Now I will turn my loom. <coughs> I'm going to attach the other back and front leg. I will start with the back leg, but this time, because I turn my loom, you will have to hold it like this. This is the thicker part, the thigh, and the paw will face to the left. This time we will attach it around these three Pegs. Starting with the set in the center again. Not does doesn't matter. But you can also start with the set on the left or on the right, as long as you attach it around these pegs here. And make sure your paw is facing to the left this time. Last set. I missed one band there. Please. Can't reach it. Yeah, got it. So this is your back leg. Now grab your front leg, attach it to those two pegs, also the paw has to face to the left. Make sure you stick your hook through correctly. Like this. Now grab the other half of your dog. I will turn my loom again. Now stick your hook through the same set where we left the tying band in the center. You need to stick your hook through that same set again. Simply follow the tying band. That's why I told you guys not to remove it. Attach, you have it right side up and attach that's set in the center around this peg. If you want to, you can remove the tying band right now because it's attached. You don't need it anymore. And the final set, the set on the right, will have to go around this peg. And I missed one again. That's why I do remove the tying bands. You can check yourself if you missed a band there. And I did. Like this. And now we can loom, guys. So go behind all these bands here. Only grab the bottom two. And loom upwards. Not entirely. Uh, stop here. Don't continue any further. Until there. Now go inside behind th these bands, inside this pack. Grab the top two only. 
and loom diagonally. Lift up that leg and continue looming on the bottom. Loom upwards diagonally and stop there. Don't continue any further. Now we're going to do the middle row. Can be tricky, a lot of bands there. Go behind all those bands, only grab the bottom two and loom. And continue looming. Only grab the bottom two, loom over, and again bottom two, loom over. Loom those two diagonally bends and continue from here until you reach the end. Grab a tying band, a different color, create a slip knot here. And carefully remove your almost completed puppy from the loom. Totally stuck again. I'm only removing it guys so I'm not even checking if I'm on screen or off screen to be honest I like this so it should look like this right now now you will have to lay your puppy upside down so you're looking looking at the inside of the body we're going to stitch this together with the loose bands we have one set this is the set in the center we attached it twice so there is one half going this way and one going this way from that same set stick your hook through this set four loops stick it through like this and grab the first two loose bands two both of them and pull them through and stick your hook through the next set and grab the next set of loose bands pull them through the first set of loose bands also go through the next pull through all the bands and the next set don't skip a set and the next next set of loose bands pull through I'm trying to do this a bit slowly so you guys can see what I'm doing it ain't hard you just need to check your sets and loose bands don't skip any and don't have too many on your hook final set you do uh, d don't use this set we tied off it will be part of the tail so this is correct it might look like you miss one set but that this is the way it's supposed to be so you have two leftover bands stick your hook through some loops here on the inside of the stomach Pull through those two loose bands, last loose bands you have. Doesn't actually matter where you pull them through, as long as they are on the inside of the body. Grab a C-clip and attach it like this, so it won't go anywhere. 
That's it. And your puppy is stitched together already. Yay. Yeah, this is cool. A white bag. And this is awesome. Cute. This is cute. I love the black paws. Well, let us continue with the tail. Um, put your puppy aside for now. And follow me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting from the bottom, but I guess I can count from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add a double looped single band from the sixth to the seventh peg. This will be the tip of the tail. I will add one more white double looped single. You can actually also make this spotted if you want to. Another single double looped. So these are three single double looped white bands. Now grab two bands at a time. Two white bands for me here. You can also make that black if you want to. Two black here. Now grab three bands at a time. It will make the tail uh, a bit thicker. Why did I do that with black there? I don't want to do that, I guess. No, I don't. I will grab three white bands here. So these are three and the final three bands. These bands are quite thick, but might look cool. So three black bands there. And you can easily flip this around or add more black or even make the tail longer if you want to. This is actually a short tail. I don't even know where my puppy went. It's not here anymore. I guess one of my children, but that's fine. Um, what I want to do is to combine two top loops on my hook first. So I'm actually going to remove the tying bands. Be careful when you're doing this. It's possible to do it like this, but... And I'm going to stick my hook through the top two loops on the right and the top two loops on the left. Then I will reach for the top two, or for the bottom two on the right and the bottom two on the left. And they're all around my hook. These need to be placed around this peg, either right side up or upside down, doesn't matter, as long as you attach all those loops around that peg. Like this. Can be a bit tricky. Now go behind all these bands. I do have to turn my loom for this. And simply loom the entire tail upwards. That's all that's, that needs to be done. Simply loom this entire tail up. Grab a single white band. Create a slip knot here with it, or if you added more black, you can also add a black band and create a slip knot. Carefully remove the tail from the loom. Like this. There you have your tail. Now we need to hide this loose tying band. So you need to weave it through some part of the tail. Simply stick your hook through some loops there and grab that loose band. And weave it through. Hide it as best as you can. But this is tricky sometimes. It might poof out, but you need to stick it back then. 
so like this this is the tail actually the puppy is done guys except for the stomach of course so lay this puppy upside down <clears throat> grab your stomach um well it doesn't matter how you attach it well yes i guess it does i always um put the cap band on the neck so i will have it like this it's curved like this wait so it's a tiny bit curved like upwards and we will attach it like this so you need to flip it around it's curved and you will attach it like this so it needs to be on top of your puppy while the puppy is upside down like this um well, i do need to check a tiny bit we have three loops three sets for the neck and three for the rear so i'm going to start at the rear this time but i need to check for the right spot to pull that band through i will start here at the corner stick your hook through four loops just like we attach the stomach just try to to see what i'm doing and pull through the loose bands you need to stitch it together like this just like we did oh i'm not through correctly Just like we did before grab the top two don't grab any leg bands by the way simply grab your stomach or, or your body bands the side of your body i did this dog a, a tiny bit different so the back of the dog will be a tiny bit smaller but now we have to don't continue on this row right now but go to this row the outside of the puppy this time it's a bit tricky but you can manage you really can if i can do it you guys can do it but it takes some time to do this nice and neat make sure you go on the outside of the puppy don't continue on the second row just pull them through a tiny bit let me check one two three i'm gonna just skip one here and just see try to look at what i'm doing it doesn't actually matter well you you don't have to ex follow me exactly just attach it Not through correctly here now i will go through some horizontal bands at this point because this is only one band here at the top i'm going to search from some for some horizontal bands and simply pull that band through can we stitch it together already well i hope this will stay if i do the other side to pull through those loose bands make sure they stay there you might you want to turn around your puppy right now but you need to squeeze it at a certain point so you won't pull outwards the other loose bands this is tricky you can also stick through a um, hook if you want to so they won't come out it's possible we have to do the exact same thing as we just did but with the other side make sure you follow the outside first so don't continue on this row it will look weird mm -hmm. i'm checking where did i pull that band through i guess here
You will have to squeeze your puppy at a certain point, by the way. Did I add it through there? No, I did not. I'm just checking where I placed the other bands to make it kind of equal on both sides. But then again, you don't have to... If you did a puppy with me before, you know what I'm doing. And you probably know your way with this already. Hmm. Wait a second. I think I'm going to stretch. Oh, I will have to do this a tiny bit further. I don't want this to be in the way there. These bands. I'm going to try if I can pull it through with the C clip on it. No clue if that's clever thing or not. Well, it is true, I guess. But now I do have to stitch it together again. But that's fine. Take your time, follow the outside of your puppy. Try not to lose any of the bands, but it's it's kind of difficult because you actually need to squeeze it a tiny bit. Yeah, that's better with the C clip there. Just placed it one set further through that C clip. I'm talking way too much, I guess. You guys can see what I'm doing. Can you? Yeah, you can. Now we need to attach this through somewhere. What's the best spot for this band to pull through? Even I'm struggling, guys. Search for some bands to pull it through doesn't actually really matter at the bottom. Like this, now all the bends are true, at least if I didn't forget any. And now we need to stitch this together, same thing, stick your hook through one set or one band and simply pull through one band and continue doing this pull through each loop. So we can stitch this together. Don't actually pull too hard on them, those bands. Simply go all the way around. I try not to do this with twisted bands. I try not to skip any. Don't forget any. You can also stuff the, these animals if you want to, but I don't do that because they're very tiny. I don't want to stuff them. But you can if you want to. You can make a very chunky dog if you like.
Is there any band left? Is this one band? Yes, this is one loose band. My final band. Um, let me see. How are, am I going to do this? We have one loose band left. We need to pull this inside the stomach. So I'm searching for some bands to pull it through. I have it here and now there is a C-clip of course. And it would be awesome if we can reach inside for that same C-clip. Grab it, this might be tight by the way. And wrap around that single band there and try to kind of stuff it back inside. There you go. You might want to squeeze it a tiny bit so the stomach comes out. There you go, guys. You need to wire it. I really don't know where my other puppy is. It went away. Well, here is your Dalmatian puppy finished, completed. Uh, wire it so you can pose it and it can really sit. Um, it might actually sit already, but well, not really. You need to wire it. I always use this wire. I will cut off the green on the outside and wire it with silver colored wire. So I will do that, guys, after this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I will, would love to see your... Um, a variation uh, ML cat spec. I would love to see it, so post it on Instagram. I know you're very active there, so I would love to see your um, Dalmatian puppy appear at some point. So have fun creating them. And the first one who creates 101, well, mm, that will be awesome. I won't be doing that. I will have two now. Oh, only that other one went away, but I will search for that later. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have fun. Have a great night, great day, or, uh, well, enjoy your weekend. And I will see you in my next tutorial. I don't know what it will be yet, but I have some um, requests for the King Charles. So I might check into that. Yeah, I have a lot of requests, by the way, 30 plus requests, so I can't do them all at once, but I will do my best, guys. Simply have fun. Uh, like, subscribe and share. Uh, subscribing is free and uh, you do help me a lot if you do subscribe. So spread the word. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Have fun. Bye bye.